尊敬的马克·李查克先生、女士们、先生们，大家好。Honorable Mr. Marco, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. 我来自中国上海跨国采购促进有限公司。今天非常荣幸的接受了马克先生的邀请，参加二零幺三年的。We are from the Shanghai International Sourcing Promotion Center. I am honored to be able to accept Mr. Marco's invitation to attend the 2013 Noya Conference. As a strategic partner of the Noya Conference, I am very pleased to represent the Shanghai International Sourcing Promotion Center, that is ISPC, in using this opportunity to share with you all an overview of the e-commerce market in China, the development of foreign companies within this market, and our company services, e-commerce China, and the international e-shopping fair. The Chinese e-commerce market is thriving and moving towards more charity. Since 2007, growth has been very fast. 2011 saw a trade volume hit 784 billion RMB. 2011 saw 1.3 trillion RMB and estimates for 2013 reach 1.85. Trading e-commerce percentage of retail sales has increased from 4.3 percent to 6.2 percent and up to 7.7 percent. Estimates for 2016 expect trade volumes to hit 3.6 trillion RMB, 10.8 percent of total retail sales volume across society. From this picture, you can see in 2013, China had 217 million e-commerce users, according to the estimates. By 2015, this will rise to 360 million people. With this fast-growing user base, China's e-commerce trade volumes are overtaking that of the U.S. America predates a 2013 trade volumes of 1.4 trillion RMB, while China predicts a 1.8 trillion RMB. For 2014, America predicts 2.07 trillion RMB, while China predicts 24.5 trillion RMB. Um, the Chinese e-commerce industry is stronger in B2C than C2C. China's most influential B2C sites are Tmall, Jingdong, Suni, Tengxun, Amazon China, Dangdang, Gomei, VIPShop.com, Yihaodian.com, and Weco.com. The largest trade volumes are those of Tmall, Jingdong, and Suni with respective market shares of 56.7%, 19.6%, and 5.5%. And, uh, uh, Amazon China has 2.7% market share. The top product categories in the Chinese e-commerce market are shoes and apparel, home electronics, cosmetics, cosmetics mother and baby products, books, music, and film, etc. Let's uh, have a look at the development of foreign companies in Shanghai's online retail sector. There are currently 462 foreign enterprises in Shanghai, all amongst which 257 participating in commerce. Of these 257 enterprises, 179 are already active in e-commerce in Shanghai, a ratio of 69.75%. Uh, As you can see, there are 40 French companies in Shanghai, 
31 of which participate in online retail. Amongst these, none are confirmed active. Of 28 Italian enterprises in Shanghai, 19 participate in online retail, and five are confirmed active. Product categories for those online retailer, retailers in Shanghai are clothes, household goods, beverage, and cosmetics. Foreign, <coughs> foreign enterprises in Shanghai have, of course, many, uh, made many de development bottlenecks, for example, finance channels, import restrictions, HR, etc. These bottlenecks, however, haven't fully prevented development of online retail because companies like ours provide a professional service platform to build the e-commerce business in China. Uh, E-commerce China is our company's brand services platform. E-commerce China provides one-stop services to multinational enterprises to help them build up their local op operations and develop their Chinese market. Each company that enters the Corp China innovation phase is given a very convenient service platform, including office centers, finance and investment services, storage and logistics services, import and export convenience center, etc. We also provide one-stop e-business operations services, including e-commerce, strategy consulting, e-commerce operations agency services, team training, etc. We can also help companies enter the e-commerce China innovation, innovation base, apply to the Shanghai municipal municipal government for preferential policies and funding. At the same time, we offer professional each, uh, human resources solutions. E-commerce China customers include multinational private B2C e-business platforms, multinational online third-party product retail companies, multinational e-business service providers, etc. E-commerce China's vision is to build professional platform to provide services to multinational e-commerce companies and construct an effective convenient and healthy business ecology to aid multinationals in developing their domestic and international e-commerce markets. E-commerce China innovation base is a guiding point for the up and downstream production chain with a focus on multinational companies' e-commerce. E-commerce China Innovation base, location advantages have earned great popularity amongst the foreign e business companies and venture, venture capitalists. Apart from the e commerce China service platform, we also offer foreign companies an exhibition platform in the China Shanghai International e Shopping Fair, that is ESF. The ESF is supported and allied by China's Ministry of Commerce and is China's only international exhibition focused on negotiation and trade, experience sharing, online and uh, offline activities in the online shopping field. This exhibition has attracted e-commerce businesses, e-commerce service providers, venture capital and foreign suppliers as exhibitors. The exhibition is split into four sections Online shopping experience exhibition, national product exhibition, multinational e-commerce exhibition, and online and offline experience exhibition. This fair is innovative and provides our exhibitors opportunities in four main areas, negotiations, brand building, retail, and offline experience. The fair gives enterprises a wide e-commerce marketplace. ESF 25 was built on eight themed areas. Over 1,600 products were exhibited from countries such as Germany and Italy. 
220 companies exhibited to an audience of 10,000. The 2013 ESF had four themed exhibitions and four themed forums as well as an e-commerce innovative project competition. 300 companies exhibited to an audience of 30,000. The ESF has already become a major brand in the Chinese e-shopping e industry. Finally, please let me introduce the Shanghai International Sourcing Promotion Center. We are a la very large state-owned company with the full support of Chinese Ministry of Commerce and the Shanghai Municipal Government. We have built a global sourcing services platform under the banner of based in Shanghai, facing the world, serving the globe. Currently, we have cooperative relations with over 20 international trade organizations and 30 provincial trade organizations and have been business services to international buyers and suppliers for over 10 years. Uh, thank you, all of you. I hope we can meet in China and work together to open the Chinese marketplace. Okay, thank you.